Hey guys, this is a video to show you how um, to get past or the cause of any kind of lines in your video for the Unify Pro uh, V2 uh, 5 volt edition. This may work for the high volt edition as well. Um, but uh, recently I converted my quad from uh, the regular Rotorite edition Alien 5 to the Mr. Steel uh, edition with the Mr. Steel PDB. Um, Actually, that capacitor is only for testing because uh, what was happening was recently I was having lines in my video when I went to arm the quad. Um, they were diagonal lines. Uh, they were faint. And then when you would throttle up, it would get more uh, visible and really pretty much annoying. It looked like I was oscillating a lot more than I actually was uh, at certain throttle levels. Um, so I spent a lot of time troubleshooting this issue. Uh, I was up till about three o'clock in the morning last night and I actually found the cause, at least in my quad. Um, so I'm gonna go over uh, what that was. And um, I already took the top plate off and um, this is basically the way that I currently have my uh, VTX mounted. Um, so I've got the VTX here, um, basically exactly how the uh, Mr. Steel video shows, um, but his looked like it was up a little bit further. And this is how I originally had the VTX set up and it worked great. Uh, and then I had to do some repairs on the quad and uh, rewatched his video and he looked like he had it more up towards the front. So I changed it, I moved things up, I undid these and I just slid it up a little bit. And that's when I actually noticed uh, that I was having the video issues, but I didn't know that that was the cause. Uh, I did a bunch of upgrades at the same time uh, with the P PDB, a new flight controller, um, so I didn't know exactly what was causing it. I actually thought it was the PDB that was causing it because that was the newer thing. Uh, this was fairly new but uh, was giving me great results beforehand so I was almost 100% certain that it was the PDB but it ended up being the VTX and I'm going to go over what causes this. Um, so let's get into it. So, I have a brand new VTX that I just purchased um, because I wasn't sure if it was going to uh, be the VTX or not, and I wanted to use this as a reference point. So when I put this new VTX on there, or I didn't even put it on there, I just um, plugged it in and it showed the same lines, the exact same lines when I uh, armed the quad. And um, so that's what led me to believe that it was the PDB, but it was actually the way that I was holding uh, the um, VTX here when I armed it uh, that caused the issue and what actually causes the issue is so on this VTX uh, you actually have um, some solder joints right here so you've got video audio ground and 5 volt in and I guess that, that's just where you can solder the points on here instead of using uh, the wire that comes with it um, so that's how I have it set up right now so again, what causes the issue with the lines is the um, the solder points right here. So if you get any kind of conductor, including your fingers or metal, close to this area, and you go to arm the quad, it's actually going to create lines in your video feed. Uh, and I'm going to demonstrate that for you right now. So I'm going to use a little bit of this plastic here as a uh, non-conductor uh, for testing purposes. And I'm just going to throw that in there uh, like this. And we are going to plug this bad boy in. Again, always make sure that you have the antenna um, plugged in when you power up the VTX. Otherwise, you could ruin it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and plug this in. Great. And I am going to get my goggles. Um, and we are going to power these on. And let's go ahead and power the quad on too. Let's just get this into record mode. All right. I'm gonna put the goggles on, try to do both of these at the same time. All right, so now we should be recording on the goggles and as you can see the impulse rc um, i've set it up to where all the stuff that i want to see it is on the top row and right up here and um let's go ahead and get the remote 
Welcome to OpenTX. Switch warning. Acro mode. And Engines disarmed. Zero volts. Let's go ahead and arm the quad. Engines armed. And as you see, there's no there's no uh, noise in the video right now. Um, it's perfectly fine. So what actually causes the lines in the video, and I'll show that to you real quick, Engines disarmed. Um, is when you, all right, let's see how am I gonna do this. So when you hold the side of the VTX, again, it's gonna be this side right here. Um, if you put your thumb on there, and again, this could be any metal, so if it's any metal, like the top of your frame that's touching this side of the VTX, it's gonna cause lines in your video. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate that right now. So I'm just holding the side. Again, I've got my finger on those solder points. I'm gonna go ahead and arm the quad, and bam, look at those lines. And then when you go ahead and throttle up, it gets even worse. If I push a little bit harder, it gets even worse. If I get a little bit light, and then when you disarm, it just goes away. So it was just driving me nuts and I didn't know what it was and it ended up being the VTX, but not necessarily the VTX. It was how close the VTX was to the metal frame, uh, the top plate of my, um, my frame. Um, so again, I'm just using my finger as a conductor, uh, I guess close to that, those solder points. And when I go to arm the quad, there you go. When I take my finger away, it goes away. When um, you put it back, gets worse if I push harder it gets worse if I go light but that's probably where it was showing up about right there and then when I would throttle up you see how bad that gets but if you take your finger away there you go that's it so that's the cause of the lines or at least in my that was the cause of, um, of the lines in my issue um, I hope this helps I hope it uh, it helps other people with diagnosing their issues. Um, again, it's just uh, that side. So let's go ahead and power this down. And I'll go over um, my top plate real quick too. So let's turn all this stuff off. And we're gonna unplug the new VTX. And then I'm gonna go over my top plate. So, again, when I had this, when I had this set up, uh, this is how I originally had it. Then I watched the Mr. Steel video again, um, and uh, I thought that he had his closer to the front here, so I just shimmied everything up a little bit. Um, and then when I shimmied it up, it made this a little bit more loose because this was more here. Um, like that, and then it made this uh, kind of a little bit sideways like that. So it wasn't flat to the board, it was sideways, and what it was doing, it was hitting the metal up here. Um, so it was hitting the metal up here. And being that close to a conductor, again, whether it's your finger or uh, the metal here, um, when you go to arm the quad, it's going to cause those videos or the lines in the videos um, or in your video feed, uh, which is very annoying again, because uh, with those there, it seems like you're oscillating a lot more. It's um, it makes you sick and dizzy. Um, so again, if you just move it back and that's how I have mine set up, I moved it back here because this area right here is cut out and it's open. And again, that's where uh, the solder points are. So you want it in an open area and it works out perfect uh, the way that I have it set up. So I'm just going to kind of uh, try to keep it in focus, but show you more of the way that it's set up. And then I basically just have a very large twi um, zip tie here and then two small ones right there in a crisscross pattern. Can't remember where I saw the crisscross pattern like that, um, but that's basically how I have it lined up here. Um, I didn't go with that stretchy zip tie like they showed in the video because that never worked out for me. It always just broke or it didn't even work. Um, so I've used two zip ties uh, here at the tail end and then a zip tie right here with a little bit of foam right there to cushion it uh, like they did in the video. 
And it, as long as you have the VTX in this open area, which doesn't have any metal right there, uh, and those are where the solder points are. Again, um, I wrapped it in electrical tape and that did not help at all. Uh, no matter how much electrical tape here, as long as it's close to a conductor, it's still gonna get those lines in the video. Um, so it, while they're here in this open area like that, uh, you're not gonna get the lines when you arm the quad. I'm hoping that this video helped. Uh, like and subscribe, uh, share it with your friends. I'm gonna be posting more videos like this, troubleshooting videos, tutorial videos, flight videos, the whole nine yards, uh, not just in FPV, but just really in anything that I'm interested in. Um, thanks for watching and come back soon. Thanks for watching and da 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 da, yeah. Um.